what she has experienced is extreme brutality. Do you know that a woman lived there? Nope. I thought he was by himself. The neighbor did not know that she existed. Her name is Fauzia. She won't show her face. She's afraid of the danger it could bring. As she begins a new life of freedom. For three years, Fauzia says she was held captive in her own home. I really wished for death. She's sharing her story through an Arabic translator. I was very afraid of him. Fauzia was born in Morocco and moved to Florida in 2010 to be with her new husband, Kasim Alabet. I loved him very much. I loved him more than I loved myself. Soon, Fauzia was pregnant. Her American dreams seemed to be coming true until she says physical and emotional abuse began. He got angry. And he gets angry very quickly. He loses his temper. Fauzia says he forbid her from leaving their Wellington home, except to take their son to a playground next to City Hall. So I would just go to the park, sit down, and watch my son play and sit and cry. No friends, no family, no money, no English. Only her son, Fauzia says, made life worth living. That is until she found new strength inside herself. My first son, I felt I was forced to stay and settle and, and take it. But the one that I am carrying right now gave me the courage that I didn't want the same. July 17, 2013, the day Fauzia was pushed to the brink, she says her husband beat her with a TV remote and a cable. At that moment, that triggered, that was the triggering factor that I decided to leave. And she and her son slipped out the door, heading to the only place that they knew, that little park next to City Hall. Across an empty parking lot, she found just one car, and there was a woman inside. <laughs> I started knocking at the window as I'm crying. It was the words that I memorized and I taught myself over Google. Yeah. Help me. Please, yeah. help me. In uh, English. Yeah. Um, uh, my husband beat me. Please, I want to go center police. Deputies took Fauzia to safety in Alabed to jail. Two months later, we were there as Fauzia went back with deputies to retrieve a car full of clothes, toys, and documents. After she left, we went to the door. We have some questions to ask you, Mr. Labed. Yes, sir. Alabed had posted $20,000 bond and was back living at the home. She felt that she was held captive in this home. How? It I, I don't understand what that means. How? Elabed says Fauzia was never held against her will, nor was he abusive. Prosecutors, though, have charged him with aggravated battery on a pregnant woman. Do you deny the allegations that sure, are... Sure, sure, 100% I deny. I never, I never did anything. Now it's up to the courts to decide. He could face up to 15 years in prison. Fauzia, meanwhile, still has much to learn about what she calls life on the outside. Why did it take three years for you to escape that life. To be honest with you, fear was all over me. Yani, I felt so insignificant on this earth, in this life. Fauzia's lawyers are working to obtain a permanent restraining order against her husband. She's also filing for divorce. As for Alabed, he's awaiting trial on that one county faces, though the state attorney's office continues to investigate the other claims that Fauzia has made. I'm Dan Corcoran, WPTV News Channel 5.